The meaning of Israel is different to every individual and is really Independence Day marks the time in which the stories that shape that meaning come to light. This week I had the chance to sit down with the former commander of the Israeli Air Force, Eliezer Shkedi. And when I asked him what Independence Day means to him, he told me what's perhaps one of the greatest stories that I've ever heard. Looking to find Jerusalem. The city is the symbol. It's the symbol. It's the symbol of the state of Israel. It's the symbol of the Jewish nation. It's the symbol probably for you and for me. This is Aluf Eliezer Shkedi, the former commander of the Israeli Air Force. My father, uh, Moshe Shkedi, passed away two years ago. He was born in Hungary. In 1944, he jumped from a train. All his family was murdered in Auschwitz. It took him two years after the, the war to understand that he is alone in the world. And he came to Israel. Little did Moshe know his very own son Eliezer would soon become one of the most powerful and beloved military leaders in the state of Israel. Shkedi served as the front commander against countries that do not border Israel, leading the Israeli-Iran Command, which was set up to coordinate Israeli military operations and intelligence gathering against Iran. He even led the Israeli Air Force through the Second Lebanon War. But when you ask him what story defines him the most, this is the story that he tells. When I was the commander of the Israeli Air Force, I got a lot of invitation to each and every event in Israel. Honestly, I do not like events. So uh, I talked to my secretary and usually she said, thank you very much, Katie has a lot of work to do, and he will not participate. One day she came to me and she told me, do you know you have a, an invitation from the President Peres to eat dinner with him and with the President of Hungary? I told her, Avital, my secretary, Thank uh, President uh, Peres, uh, but I will not participate. Okay. A couple of weeks later, when we talked about the next week, she told me, you know, next week you have a dinner with President Peres and with the President of Hungary. I told her, how come? Didn't I tell you to cancel it? She told me, I thought you were doing a mistake. I didn't cancel to me. Now I had two alternatives. The first one is to kill her. The second one is to think maybe she is right and I'm wrong. And I realized that probably she is right. So I told her, you know, call the president office and tell them that uh, I will come and I would like to bring my father with me. She called and she said, of course, President Peres, uh, would like to invite your father as well. So I uh, called my father and told him, uh, you know, Father, uh, President Peres would like to invite you to eat dinner with him and with the president of uh, Hungary, and I will come to, with you. Silent on the other side of the phone. After a couple of seconds, he said, I will come. OK. The day arrived, I took him, and we drove to, Jer to Jerusalem. Silent in the car. I am with my thoughts, he is with his thoughts. Before we entered Jerusalem, he asked me, do you understand what's going on? I told him, of course, we are going to eat dinner with President Peres, with the President of Hungary, and uh, later on I will bring you back. And he told me, you understand nothing. Since I'm, so I'm talking to the Jewish people all around the world, probably all the people will understand it was like Agadah Shel Pesach and Chad Gadia. What it means, he said. I, Moshe Shkedi, is going to Jerusalem, the capital of the state of Israel and the capital of the Jewish nation. From the beginning. I, Moshe Shkedi, is going to the Jerusalem. I am going to meet President Peres, who is the president of the state of Israel and of the Jewish nation. From the beginning, I, Moshe Shkedi, 
President Perez, I am going to this meeting with my, with my son, who is the commander of the Israeli Air Force and the commander of the, the uh, Jewish Nation Air Force. This is the title that he gave to me. And then he said, from the beginning, Moshe Shkedi, President Perez, my son, I am going to meet the President of Hungary, that 65 years ago, the value of my life was less than the value of a dead dog. From the beginning, Moshe Shkedi, President Perez, my son, the value of my life. And the President of Hungary does not know yet that he is going to apologize. And then he reached the end and he said, Do you know, if someone would have asked me 65 years ago to dream the most amazing dream, the most unbelievable dream that you can imagine, no way that I would have dreamed something even close to this situation. And he's right. This is uh, the meaning of proportion. This is the meaning of optimism. And I honestly very optimistic about the state of Israel and the Jewish nation. And this is the story of inventing Israel day after day after day. And the president of Hungary apologized. Today, you may not find General Eliezer Shkedi cruising the skies of Israel anymore, but he's as active as can be. For a while, he became the CEO of El Al, the flagship airline of Israel, but today he serves as an advisor to 10 different nonprofit organizations in the Holy Land. After all, he'd probably be the first one to say that the sky is never the limit.